Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello beautiful people, welcome to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Bitobi is loved by many and a lot of Nigerians at the beginning of this whole thing had encouraged him to go ahead and run for the presidency and they will root for him. Indeed, he obeyed that call and Nigerians as well are also, are also keeping to the promise of rooting for him. Well, a lot of people have always called up Peter Obi over the fact that he's not only competent, he has been showing very strong moral standing and never one who will join issues with anyone. A lot of people see it as a strength, others see it as a little sign of weakness as he has shown and agreed that Everything is not all about war, but love, let love rule. In recent past, he talked about the issue of respect. That we always respect his senior colleagues and all that. For some of us, we didn't take it kindly because we believe this is a game and it's a competition. Whatever it takes, okay, in as much as you are respectful, but then very firm. But it looks like uh, Peter Hobby still keeps his morals very strong regardless of the race involved. That's it, Yusuf understands the assignment and he has said to put a bit of bite into uh, their, their, their political move because obviously from every indication, Peter Hobby seemed to be the only person all political parties seem to be throwing that at and that's he, that's the use of that he have decided to rise up to the occasion and also show that even though peter Obi is gentle as a dove he also have the capacity to bite we are necessary and i love that combination let's go into the news proper to find out what it is they said against his principle that is making him to rise to defend him. Just recently, so far some many hours ago, Okowa came all out and talked about the issue of Peter Obi's capacity and competence as he have he has no experience to the level of becoming the president. He should leave it for the likes of Fatiko, who have actually had experience at the federal level and who have the capacity to rule Nigerians. Well, it didn't end there. It didn't end there that he have decided to respond to that particular session. Before we go into the news proper, kindly subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button beside it, you'll see a bell notification icon. Go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Let's hit the ground running. Senator Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, who is the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party ahead of the 2023 general election, has reacted to the statement made by Governor Ifan Yokowa of Delta State, the vice president uh, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Senator Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, while do during uh, an interview by the host Politics Today at, at Channel's Television, she answered a couple of questions or asked him a couple of questions about his principal Peter Obi. If I Yokoa had said that uh, former governor of Anambra State and uh, the presidential candidate of Liberal Party Peter Obi lacked the experience uh, to rule Nigeria because the problems of Nigeria is more than he is capable of handling and so urged the youth of the country to choose wisely in 2023 general election. While reacting in an interview on Channel Television, Dati Baba Ahmed asked Okowa to present anyone that has experience more than his principal Peter Obi. In his words, and I quote him, it's untrue that Obi does not have enough experience. He's more experienced than any of the contestants. Show me anyone who has more experience than Peter Obi. None of them have as much as Peter Obi has. He added, now I love that bite, you know, when they give you bass boost, give them boost bass, because or else everybody will just be picking on you and using you to shine. I love the fact that, um, uh, um, but you said that if you ask Peter Obi now, if it was Peter Obi, I'd love his humility, but I'd love the bite in that this combination is superb. If it was this question they asked to Peter Obi now, you see how humble he will answer it. Very humble. Without making himself to shine, you say, well, that's their opinion. Uh, but I believe that if I'm being put, but that he went straight, that, that's, no, let's not begin to, what are we, let's not politic here. Show me, tell me one person who have the capacity like my principal, which is the truth. Which is the truth. How many of them have the certification? I'm talking about some people who have studied people's economy. All right. What makes this economy fake? Why is Nigeria and why is Nigeria Naira having a free fall and dollar is gaining strength in Nigeria when it is not even in America? 
He has given several reasons why dollar is having a, a strength and Naira is falling. He has given several reasons why Nigeria may never come at a debt ratio because we are a consuming nation. And to make it very interesting, we are a consuming nation, we import, and now we have what we call, we have devalued our Naira. So life will be tough and rough for every Nigerian living in Nigeria. So if you're a consuming nation and you import and your money has been devalued, that means importation will be very expensive, which will be, at the end of the day, will be pushed down, trickle down to the final consumers who will find basic amenities that should be cheap, highly very expensive luxuries or uh, basic amenities that ought to be busy becomes luxuries that are not affordable like what we are seeing with the issue of electricity supply even in secu even security is not very expensive imagine you live in a, 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 an area that is insecure you have to pay for uh, a security guard you have to pay for vigilante you have to pay probably uh, some of the security agencies once in a while come and check out around your area you have to also have a dog a, a guard dog all these are expensive to worsen it you may need to you know construct a very prison like kind of building just to avoid probably death theft or even a um, robbery or kidnap but in a situation where things are fu functioning well do you need to spend so much just to secure your environment of course not and that's what you know we all have know that peter we have that capacity now let's leave the fact that he talks because people feel that talk is cheap even for you to even know Education is not cheap. If you think education is, uh, is expensive, try ignorance. Ignorance is even worse. It's the ignorance that brought us to where we are right now today. We are square pegs and round holes are ruling Nigeria or uh, 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 you know, at the top of the hems of our film, Nigeria. Now looks as if Nigeria have no human resources or have no capacity. It's not little wonder that in Nigeria we have people like Dati Yusuf in Nigeria. We have people like Peter Obi in Nigeria, but yet the best of us are not in the leadership position. Now that's to tell you how we have gotten ourselves this messed up. And someone is saying that Peter Obi have no capacity. Do you know subcommittees, committees, parastatus companies, uh, um, organizations, and even he also headed uh, in political level governorship of uh, Anambra State. How many can this other, how many, how many business schools have some of these guys gone to? How many leadership schools, how many leadership skills have they ever displayed? Despite his word of inexperience, a word of experience, you still see him very humble. Despite his word of knowledge, you still see him Given his principles and those, he doesn't he doesn't abuse relationship. I, I I give it to him. Okoa may have been um, being moved by political awareness. Peter will be have the capacity. Even a former uh, a former um, ambassador, um, Aminu, uh, yeah, Aminu uh, Wali or so there about I can't remember his full name. Even acknowledge that Peter will be have capacity. You can't take it away. When we play politics, you know, it's good to play politics, but sometimes when you see through, see the way it is. Okay, you say Peter does not have capacity on how, how, where people are endorsing him, even foreigners who have had encounter with him in their classrooms, and when they have uh, business schools abroad in diaspora, he spends his money trying to know. He spends most of his money acquiring knowledge. He is an entrepreneur. He, he may not be known because he's a humble person. He said not to be known. He deliberately makes himself not to be known. But he has He knows what it is. A, a core businessman. He will tell you I'm a trader. But yet that person who calls himself a trader has gone to different schools. He's, he's learned. He's educated. He's exposed. But yet he will still humble himself and call himself a trader. Come on, guys. I love the fact that that is not letting things slide down. That's how to do it. They give it to you.